Hi, this is Christy Matthews with ChristyMatthewsOnline.com, and today I'd like to show you how to set up a Google Hangout for a date into the future. This is the type of Hangout that will allow up to nine people and does not uh, require a recording. Now, uh, there is another type of Hangout called a Hangout on Air, and that allows you much more flexibility. You can have more than 10 people and there are much more uh, controls available for the, the host of the meeting. But today we're going to talk about Google Hangout. Now, Hangouts are really good. I mean, you can go ahead and get on a, a Google Hangout right now with a client and have a face-to-face -face meeting with them. Uh, and you know, maybe uh, close some business because you have this technology. Um, the type of Hangout we're going to uh, schedule today, and I'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute, is something in the future. So let me go ahead and show you. You're looking at my screen right now, and I want to show you a couple of ways that you can schedule this. First of all, I'm using Google Chrome, uh, the browser, and I recommend that you use that. I don't believe you can schedule a Hangout if you're not using Google Chrome. Um, secondly, you want to sign in to your browser. You can see my face over here, and that shows that I'm signed in, and it also has my name up here. So you can go ahead and click these nine squares, and click Google Plus, and it's going to come to my landing page. And this is my landing page, and you'll see what's new with you. Well, you can get to scheduling this uh, Hangout right here at the event. You click that, and pops up the screen for you to go ahead and give it a name. You could change the theme, what have you. I want to show you a different way on how to get into this by, without clicking those nine dots, you can go ahead and just type in plus.google.com. And that takes you to the same landing page. So you can get to Google Plus a couple of ways. So let's go ahead and continue. You're going to go over to this landing page where it says what's new with you in this box and you're going to click event. A box pops up with my face on it and a theme. And you can go ahead and change the theme if you like. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. And I'm going to type in dinner meeting. And why not? Let's set it for Saturday night at 7 o'clock. I'm not going to worry about any of this information here. But I am going to type in the uh, email addresses of my invitees. So I'm going to go ahead and invite myself. OK. Let me show you more of my screen. Now before I go ahead and send the invitation, you're going to want to come over here to Event Options and click the down arrow. It's going to pop up this box. You're going to click Advanced. And then you're going to click Hangouts. Now you notice that the Hangout symbol and Hangouts has popped into your, your event box. Now you're ready to go ahead and send the invitation. So let's go ahead and do that. Now while all of this is working, an email is being sent to me. And I'm going to show you this, what this looks like on your Google Plus landing page. Now if you come over here to the box where it says Upcoming Events, you just click View All. and here is our dinner meeting. Now, before you go ahead and you do any kind of Hangouts, I want to recommend that you do practice this a little bit first because um, it's just technology. Not everybody's really comfortable with it. So I want to show you how you can go ahead and play with this a little bit and then get rid of the event after you've scheduled it. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Um, well, first of all, let me show you the email before I show you how to delete it. Let's see if it has arrived yet. Ah, that's the one that was canceled a moment ago. Let's give it just another moment. So anyway, in order to be able to cancel this event or delete it, you want to go over here and click the title. So you go ahead and click the title. It's going to open up the box for the event. And you can come down here to Details. Go ahead and click the down arrow box, and then you can delete this event. Now, before I do that, I want to go ahead and check my email again, just to make sure that that invitation has arrived before I uh, delete that. Here we go.
Now this is what a Google um, Hangout invitation looks like. Let me show you some more of my screen. So you can see that it has invited me to a dinner meeting. It says yes, maybe, no, are you going, that type of thing. Okay, now I'm back to my Google Plus page and I'm going to go ahead and delete this where it says details and I'm going to delete this event. So that's it for now for how to schedule a Google Hangout. I hope that you got some value from this video and I'll look forward to uh, sending you one on Hangouts on Air. Thank you and have a nice day. This is Christy Matthews with ChristyMatthewsOnline.com.